Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again with the best Pekka deck for the new meta. This deck dominates in the top 200 in the world, and it's the safest way to play Pekka. A lot of people play Pekka Bridge Band with minions or Magic Archer, and the decks are just very flimsy. If you just have Zap, you're going to automatically lose to Log Bait, because the Goblin Barrel is going to lock under your tower and you're going to have no answer. This deck has Bar Barrel, Snowball, and Electro Wizard to completely crush all those annoying goblins. And no matter what crazy ladder matchup you face, you shouldn't have any fear. With the Electro Wizard to stun, the Ram Rider and Snowball to bounce back and slow down your opponent's stuff. In the later stages of the game, when you defend with your P.E.K.K.A., throw a Ram Rider and Lumberjack behind it, you can rage up your push and make your opponent furious. Ram Rider is extremely scary when it's moving that fast, especially when you remove their buildings with your Lightning. And if you don't like Lumberjack, you can always play it with Bandit too. Let's go jump straight some games and assert dominance. Subscribe to the channel for a video every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern. Lots of love to everyone that's using Creator Code Sir Tag to support the channel. Thanks to King of Avalon for sponsoring today's video. With over 50 million downloads on the Google Play Store, King of Avalon is one of the new best games on mobile. Tons of people are loving it too, with over 1.2 million reviews and a really high rating. It's one of the most downloaded games right now. And now King of Avalon has added new tower defense gameplay. Players will deploy heroes and troops freely with strategies to defeat the waves of the unmelted. And in tower defense battle, you'll be dispatching different types of heroes to conquer the unmelted and even summon a dragon. Using the correct type of troop and positionings are incredibly important. Choose between bowmen, spearmen, swordsmen, cavalry, and other troops to get the best possible combination. And flexibly adjust the positionings to wipe out enemies that are coming in from all angles. There's a PvP quest to lift Excalibur and become king. Chatting, trading, and waging war with players all around the world. I love the medieval artwork and all the dragons. This has got to be one of my new favorite tower defense games. Check out King of Avalon down below in the description of the video and download today for free. All right, we got a game against Sahil. So hopefully Sahil has the wise idea of spamming into our Ram Rider. If he decides not to do that, then maybe we can go in for a Lumberjack in the back. But that could also activate King Tower if he's got Tornado. So in retrospect, that would be the worst card to cycle at the start because so many people are running Splash Shard with Tornado. And it's just not a card that I ever want to drop. Oh man, this has got to be an Elixir Golem deck, and I don't have my P.E.K.K.A. in my hand, but I have Lightning for the Electric Dragon, so I'm excited to pop off and give this guy something he never wanted to see. Okay, I can Baby Dragon as well in the back and not leak too much Elixir, and if he Lumberjacks, wait, 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 this is not a deck that I'm used to playing against. I've never seen Lumberjack with Battle Healer before. Almost always it's going to be Night Witch or Elite Barbarians. Okay. All right, I could Lightning here. Is this a Golem deck instead of running Elixir Golem? Is this guy evolved and graduated from 3 Elixir to 8 Elixir? That's a lot of damage with the E-Wiz, and we are 100% going to Lightning that. Every time you Lightning an Elixir Collector, it's a negative one trade, but it's better than them building up a huge Elixir advantage. If we cycle Peck in the back, and then, you know, they just kill it with the Skeleton Army, and then they're up, like, another 4 Elixir, and then they have Elixir Collector on the map, I just automatically lose the game, so I can't have that happen. The good thing about our deck is we do have a good way of killing the skeleton army but the thing is if i go for a ram rider that's already going to be a negative two trade into the skeleton army if i go for a snowball that's another more negative elixir trade that i can't take if i'm down five or six elixir and my opponent goes in for opposite lane aggression with a the golem they'll take out my entire tower where the ram rider won't so you kind of have to go in for ram riders in the later stages of the game you can't do it in the earlier stages because you won't be able to afford your defense as well as your offense so you need to be able to afford everything at once okay i'm gonna snowball to knock everything back so then we don't lose the game to this electro dragon and i think that the pekka is just i having a mind of her own she wants to get chained on dude so then he can get tower damage okay fortunately that didn't work out for him i think i want to go in for a ram rider with this pekka and a lumberjack just to catch him in a bad spot because he thought that it would the pekka would die but little did he know we got everything we could ever ask for I think that the Ram Rider isn't going to be able to win us the game, but I'm pretty sure the Lumberjack will. That's the scary thing. The Skeleton Army was not the card that we wanted to see. I'm in a pretty bad spot after that. I think he's going to go on the P.E.K.K.A. and the left-hand side. I think he's going to... Oh, no, he goes right. He's trying to swerve me. Wait, with 35 seconds remaining, can I just take his left-hand tower? Can I just do this, Tim? I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. He's definitely going to go in for a Skeleton Army, so we should be able to shut that down with the, the Snowball if I hit it correctly. All I need to do is kite the Lumberjack to the other side. So I think I can do that as well. We're going to snowball on top of all the skeletons, make sure it's poison position, and then 
We can get the Ram Rider to go through too and then just lightning on all of his other stuff. We're chilling. Wait, there's no way. With 10 seconds remaining, I don't think the Lumberjack can take out my tower. Maybe it can. I really hope not. I really hope not. Oh my gosh. Hold the door. Hodor, Hodor, Hodor. <laughs> Game of Thrones, please <laughs> save me. And somehow, some way, the Electro Wizard was able to put our opponent in an immeasurable amount of dismay. The main theme of this deck is defend in single elixir so then you can eventually afford your big Ram Rider pushes in double. If you go for it in single, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. That skeleton army would have swarmed my Ram Rider and I would have had no elixir to defend his huge golem push. Hey, this guy does not like me already with his name. Look at that. Hey, that is a bold assertion. Hopefully we don't suck in this game. I'm going to go for a lumberjack in the back and we'll see what this guy decides to do. Obviously, if you're going to end up having maybe a lobhound deck or a graveyard deck, it could be a difficult matchup for me. Definitely going to be graveyard because we see the barbarian barrel. Okay, so with the barbarian barrel out of cycle and the tombstone out of cycle, I feel poison position to go in for my... Wait, what? What? I was ready to go in for my big P.E.K.K.A. push, but now I don't have my P.E.K.K.A. to defend the golem. Oh my gosh, I didn't think that golem would ever be a possibility with Tombstone because I just haven't seen it in forever. Wow, this guy is rewriting history. He is, he's changing the way that golem is played. Okay, so guys, very inconvenient position for us to be in, but I'm going to try to figure out a way to defend. I'm going to baby dragon on an angle so then I can kill the bats, hopefully. So notice how all the bats are going to go into the baby dragon splash or at least as much as we possibly can get. And then I'm going to go in for a barbarian barrel with the electro wizard to completely clean everything else up. So we got a lot of damage in the right-hand side, but the P.E.K.K.A. is going to be a very sad person. It's not going to give us anything. You know what I can do is I can go in for a Lumberjack to rage out to the Barbarian, the Electro Wizard, and the Baby Dragon, and ignore the Baby Dragon the other side. It's so unfortunate that one of the skeletons is getting tanked for it by the Baby Dragon, but it is what it is. It's still pretty good for us. Yo, wait, wait, wait. The Electro Wizard is raged up, so it's just going to permanently reset the tower. I think that's going to be like 2,000 damage, bare minimum. Oh my gosh, it's more than 2,000. It's 2,300 damage. How do we get more damage with just an Electro Wizard and a half health baby dragon on the left hand side? That just doesn't feel right. Both of my cards were barely dead and it just, I don't know. They, I don't know how that even worked. They were like resurrected somehow by the stun of the electricity. Oh my gosh. Barely dead and barely alive at the same time. Anyway, I can go for a baby dragon here and I think I can get some really nice lightning value to damage down all of his stuff so he can't stack up too many bats. And then, obviously, if the baby dragon doesn't get overwhelmed with bats, we're in a pretty good position to counter push on that same side. It's weird to play against multiple golem players so often in these games. Like, last golem player we played against, it was an intense game. This one is also intense. Maybe I can snowball. This guy's also got Skeleton King, a very overpowered champion that can distract your P.E.K.K.A. and make the matchup way more inconvenient for you. But as you guys are noticing, when I have an elixir advantage, I'm going to continuously spam at the river. Because, obviously, if my stuff is raged up, I'm going to get good trades. And I'm going to take time away from you. And you don't have that time to go in for your big fat golem push anymore. You know what? I'm going to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to make time, Jake. I'm rushing with that golem. Holy heck, man. I don't think you're going to be able to do enough damage. I do have Snowball here. He might be able to get the explosion damage and then lightning me out though. Oh no. Yo, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's going to get it. Oh no, that's a tragedy. I just lost the tower and I didn't expect that to happen. Why are these games not going as planned ever? Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to Lumberjack and we're going to go in for an Electro Wizard and we're also going to have the P.E.K.K.A. hopefully merge into the right-hand lane. Yo, P.E.K.K.A., did they teach you how to drive or nah? I'm going to try to get you to go and swerve into the right-hand side. You got to go into the other lane, man. You got to give them some pain. Wait, Redemption Arc Part 2? The Electro Wizard and the Baby Dragon are still alive? No way! Dude, we're going to end how we started with all of our damage. The Electro Wizard was the recipe for disaster for our opponent and straight up success for me. That was beautiful. And it just makes it a little bit more pleasurable playing against someone with that type of name and being like, I proved you wrong. I beat you and you had champions. I guess that's what this P.E.K.K.A. Duck does best. It keeps you safe against all those annoying matchups. Even if your opponent has something that you don't expect, as long as you don't spam all of your elixir, you'll stay safe. All right, let's see if we can finally play against an opponent that isn't packing a golem for us. Oh, well, that's a different type of golem. All right, well, at least we got our what we asked for, right? Uh, we got our wishes fulfilled. The guy is going to go for an Elixir Golem in the back and then immediately drops the Dark Prince. This is going to be a different matchup because I can't necessarily deal with that that effectively. It's going to be hard for my P.E.K.K.A. since she is going to get overwhelmed by a sheer amount of units that our opponent has. So I need to go in for a Lumberjack here. Maybe I can bounce everything back with the Snowball. Oh my gosh, he Elite Barbarian's Bridge Bam me too. That's just straight up just scary, man. You got to stop that right now. 
<laughs> Zappies as well at the river that would raged up to reset my P.E.K.K.A. so then he could break through with his Dark Prince and E-Barbs. That was just nasty. Sadistic, sir. He's going to have Skeleton Army too, so this guy's just got a whole array of skillless cards, all just for us. Specially curated for me. Maybe I can go in for an Electro Wizard to stun the Dark Prince. Oh, wow, Ram Rider, you came up clutch for a lot of damage. I'll take that. If we Barbarian Barrel, we're able to clean up the Dark Prince. Oh my gosh, <laughs> why are you doing this again? <laughs> it's like this guy has one thing programmed in his brain. Spam. My goodness. All right, Pekka is definitely going to die right now. Oh my gosh, I don't have Elixir. I can't afford the Electro Wizard. Bro, I'm poor. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. My Pekka's going to die. Okay, fortunately, you keep her alive. I am proud of you, Electro Wizard. You just wanted to make it close for everyone sitting on the edge of their seat, waiting for the P.E.K.K.A. to fall. And you're like, no, she is our princess. <laughs> if I go for a Barbarian Barrel? No, she died to a skeleton, man. That is the worst death, dying to something that was already dead, bringing it down with you. Oh, man. If I go for a Ram Rider, probably going to Elite Barbarians. Can't necessarily do that. And he's laughing at me. No, we got to bounce back. We got to beat you, man. Oh, my gosh. Which is a scary game. Oh, I need to snowball that because I needed to be able to not cycle a Ram Rider into Elite Barbarians because that would have caused me to have a much worse trade overall. But because I did that, I don't know if I can defend because now I'm down Elixir. Okay, we're gonna go for Baby Dragon since it does a lot of splash damage. We will go for a Barbarian Barrel when we get the chance. I'm hoping that I can splash onto everything with that Barbarian and Lumberjack again. But I am gonna Snowball everything backwards so then we don't take as much damage. And I'm an Electro Wizard here so then we can get the uh, value with the Electro Wizard stun, hopefully. And that's a lot of fun. Let's go, baby! Let's freaking go. Double Electro Wizard, double stun. That's basically our own, like, homemade scuffed zappies. That's basically what it is, right? <laughs> double zappies, double the fun for everyone, except you. Oh my gosh, that snowball wasn't even needed. The Electro Wizards are doing so much damage. Oh my goodness. I think I have an Electro Wizard cycle deck. I created a brand new strategy here. That's beautiful, baby. Dark Prince doesn't lock on. I think he's going to go Elixir Golem, of course. So then we need to go in for a lot of stuff to defend this. I don't know if I'm able to defend this, to be honest. So much crap coming at me. I need a Barbarian Barrel again. If I don't snowball in the bats, I'm probably going to lose. So I do that first. And I'm going to go in for another Electro Wizard. We made him angry. Oh, we are successfully winning. <laughs> that's an absolute win in my book if we can make an Elixir Golden player angry. We know that that's going to die. So I need to go in for a Baby Dragon here. So then he, when he Skeleton Armies, hopefully that dies as well. Please, let's go. That was such a satisfying win. Every single game today has been against beatdown decks that have been trying to take my trophies, but the P.E.K.K.A. and Electro Wizard have been screaming, no, not today. All right, we got a game against Mr. Daniel. So definitely want him to go burr and spam all of his stuff at the river. Okay, Sparky in the back is a strategy that I'm not a huge fan of playing against because hypothetically, he could go and kite my Lumberjack into the Sparky with a Giant or a Goblin Giant, and then I would be forced to Lightning. Yeah, I'm gonna go and Lightning on that pretty much as quickly as I can. So maybe the Lumberjack can give us some value here for a limited time. And then we can Barbarian Barrel to clean up the Sparky. So I'm gearing up for a decent defense here, but I'm still going to take a lot of damage, guys. Like, it's not the best thing in the world when you have to Lightning and then just soak up the damage because you just don't have the right card cycle. If I had been able to go for a P.E.K.K.A. in the back and the same side as the Sparky, that would have been a vibe because then we could have used Lightning and Barb Barrel and been able to defend things quite nicely. So you want to use Ram Rider on defense whenever you can to kite units to the other side. So then, you know, you're going to be able to force out extra Elixir. And after they defend, they're not going to be able to get the mini pack in the lane that they want. Oh my gosh, the Ram Rider almost got a hit on the tower. That would have been insane. I love Snowball as well. So maybe in the later stages when we know that he's going to have to counter with the mini Pekka, we can pre-Snowball, push the mini Pekka away, and then have the Ram Rider lock onto the tower. That's just like, you know, a hypothetical. I don't know if it's going to come to play, but that's what I'm hoping has happened. All right, so I'm going to go for the peck in the back. As you guys saw, Barbril... When it's raged up, especially with lightning, it's going to be a really good counter to the Sparky. So we'll see if we can make that happen again. Uh, obviously, I think he's going to drop something here. We kind of want to let, let the P.E.K.K.A. take the first shot, maybe. And then, oh, wait, never mind. Why are you going to give me that? All right, sure. Yeah, I'll just Barbarian Barrel again. Be able to clean that up rather nicely. And then have the P.E.K.K.A. pretty good HP counter pushing. Especially when we know that he's only going to end up having Mini P.E.K.K.A. or Dark Prince to counter this. We can go in for a Ram Rider rather aggressively right now to immediately capitalize on our good card cycle. So he has to go Mini P.E.K.K.A. here, and I'm able to snowball that away, so then the Ram Rider, again, is going to be able to snare the Mini P.E.K.K.A. far enough away, and then it's going to have to walk. Oh my gosh, the P.E.K.K.A.'s on the tower! Wait, that worked out so much better than I thought. P.E.K.K.A. devoured the Mini P.E.K.K.A., basically cannibalism, and it shut down the tower. It did everything we could have ever wanted. And now we're just going to focus on defending, going in for the P.E.K.K.A. on the same side, lightning in and barbarrowing on top of his Sparky, 
and there's no way for him to break through. So as you guys can see, with two Electro Wizards on defense, our opponent was in a state of misery. Everything was getting zapped, and he was going nowhere real fast. Let's bounce on to the next one. Now we're 9,600 in the world. All right, we got a game against Egger. What is he going to do? Okay, unfortunately, he's going to ban it at the start. That makes me feel a little bit scared because our deck works really well in Double Elixir, and if our opponent's aggressive and single and we don't have the right card hand, it could be sketchy. However, because we've got Amazing Counter Push, we also have that benefit. Notice how his Ram Rider got devoured by the P.E.K.K.A. And now we have a P.E.K.K.A. that's essentially two Elixir since the Ram Rider was, you know, eaten alive and that cost two. Wait, the P.E.K.K.A. was almost raged up there. Can we stop the Mini P.E.K.K.A. from getting the hit? Aw, if the P.E.K.K.A. was at full HP, he would have taken a lot of damage if that Mini P.E.K.K.A. wasn't able to get that last uh, little hit there. I think I'm going to Barbarian Barrel on top of the Electro Wizard. It's going to get one splash on our tower, but it's not that big of a deal because I think the Barbarian Barrel is going to force out a response from our opponent too. So since he's got Ram Rider, it's better to wait for him to Ram Rider so then we can Ram Rider on his Ram Rider. Because it will slow his down, and then it will also allow us to get good counter push. So that's what we're going to vibe with right now. We're going to get a good card cycle where we can Lumberjack here. It's not going to be able to rage up the Baby Dragon, but the Baby Dragon still gives the hit, and this is what I was wanting to see. Ram Rider is going to slow his down, and it's also going to target it. That's beautiful. Wait, my Lumberjack. It's putting in the work, and it's going to die perfectly. Zero HP for one reason. Just to finish off his Electro Wizard with the Rage. That's so nice. He's going to poison on the Electro Wizard and the Ram Rider to slow it down. That was actually an exceptionally clutch play. As dumb as that looked, he slows down the Ram Rider that was raged up with the poison because it has like a 15% slow speed. And it was also able to finish off the Electro Wizard. So maybe with a bad hand. Oh, well played because he wasn't able to afford his P.E.K.K.A. or Mega Knight depending on what version he had. Unfortunately, he's going to have Goblin Gang. So I am going to sacrifice my Barbarian Barrel and then get Goblin Ganged immediately. But that is what it is. At least we're able to pay attention to our opponent's card cycle and not get surprised by it, right? Pretty important to do. If I Lightning and Single Elixir, not really a good play. But since it is about to hit double, maybe our opponent will be in some trouble. I'm going to Lightning right now. And I think the Ram Rider will connect to my tower. But... We'll see if we can go and kill his Electro Wizard afterward with our Lumberjack. Don't know if he's able to afford it. Oh, wait. If we go and snowball that away, can we get the Ram Rider through? No, that didn't work out. <laughs> I think that was the most aggressive play I've done all day. It's fine, though. We have Electro Wizard, so we should be okay here. He's going to poison on me, so I need to go for a Ram Rider, unfortunately. Otherwise, the Bandit will dash onto my tower, and I can't have that happen. He's going to go for a Ram Rider on defense. We're going to slow each other down, but I don't know if my Lumberjack can kill it. Is my Ram Rider going to get a connection? No, he's going to Electro Wizard. He was freaking out. I'm going to Snowball that back, so maybe the Lumberjack is able to get one more hit. Nah, not quite. I'm going to Barbarian Barrel here. Ooh, that was so close. I was inches away from like 800 damage, guys. <laughs> oh, man. That's scary sometimes when that happens. Okay, I'm going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. so then the Bandit doesn't dash. I think it doesn't kill the Bandit immediately. It's going to target the Goblins, unfortunately. They're really not a good spot for us to be in. But there's one thing that I love doing with this deck that I've learned. If you go in for the Ram Rider in the back and then you go for P.E.K.K.A. at the river and your opponent's expecting to be able to counter it with just like a mini P.E.K.K.A., their mini P.E.K.K.A. will die to the P.E.K.K.A. and they won't have any answer for you. So that's something to keep in mind in case you guys haven't done that before. Let's snowball that to completely finish it off. He's going to Electro Wizard counter with the poison. Wait, the Electro Wizard just whipped itself out of there. What is he doing? That e is crazy. So we can go for another Barbarian Barrel. And since this is hitting the longer stages of the game, I might be able to afford a big P.E.K.K.A. push. I'm going to peck in the back. We're going to build up a huge push. If he decides to go in for a Mega Knight or other spam, we can Ram Rider here and then kite it directly into the P.E.K.K.A. So that's what we were hoping to see, actually. That's exactly what we were hoping for. So I'm able to do this. Go in for a Lumberjack here. Snowball everything afterward. And then Barbarian Bell to clean it all up. So we're not going to take too much damage, especially with the tower raged up and targeting the Mini P.E.K.K.A. The Ram Rider is going to connect. He's going to Electro Wizard a little bit later. Wait, I think we can make him a P.E.K.K.A. hater if we go in for two of them. <laughs> that would have been too fun. I'm not going to do it, but it could have been possible. Okay, I'm going to go for an E-Wiz, especially since we still have the P.E.K.K.A. alive. I'm going to Snowball and bounce back the Mini P.E.K.K.A. hopefully. And then the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Wait, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. is not even able to touch us. Da -na -na -na. Can't touch this Ram Rider, baby. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm thoroughly enjoying the fact that the Snowball can push things away from the Ram Rider to give you even more value. He's definitely going to go in for Mega Knight, but I don't think the Mega Knight's even able to hit it. Yo, the Mega Knight jumped, but it's far enough away. And the Barbarian Barrel took the hit. That was legendary, my dudes. The Barbarian Barrel took the Mini Pekka hit for the team so the Ram Rider could live the dream and conquer the tower. And now we've climbed to 8,300 in the world. Like, subscribe for more daily videos, and I hope you have an incredible rest of your day.